Namaste and welcome everybody. Today in this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how I fixed character getting stuck on edge of a platform in Unity 3D. First, let me give you a quick introduction to this issue. I'm creating a game called Q Run. It's going to be for mobile devices. Here on the screen, you can see a platform jumping game, but it's actually going to be a maze game, where you find out the way through maze by dropping a couple of lights and come up with multiple items that you will use to build home and other stuff on your home island. I will be explaining more about this game in another video. During the development phase, I came across a problem of my character getting stuck on the edge and remaining in falling state, like you can see on the screen then I come up with this simple method to fix the issue now in this video I'm going to share you the exact method that I used to overcome this problem without wasting any more time let's get into the video but before starting the tutorial I want you guys to hit the subscribe button below this video to support me to create this kind of new tutorial videos and watch till the end so you don't miss any valuable information and also I'm going to give you some hints about what will be coming up next in upcoming tutorial video so here is the explanation of how it's done. The idea to keep in mind is not to destroy performance with everything working. The green downward ray from character is to check the ground and all the four red rays are the actual solution to the problem. What would happen is that only when our character is not on ground or is at falling state, we are going to shoot those four rays and check whether any walls are being interacted with. If any ray finds any wall, then an opposite and downward force is going to be applied to the character. I am also using the second ray a little bit back from the center of the character and it is also to check the ground so that players can make a risky jump even they cross the edge of the platform. Leaving that aside, let's get back to our four rays and code used to project them. Here the main thing you have to learn is about shooting raycast and lerp. If you are not aware about raycast and lerp, in simple language, raycast in unity is a physics function that projects a ray into the scene, returning information about the target that it hits. And lerp is used to make a smooth linear interpolation or change in value between two points. You can search for documents in Unity scripting API, but if you want me to make specific tutorial videos about these topics, then feel free to comment it out. Now let's take a look at our code. I'm using fixed update written as artificial update to check whether the player is in ground or not. Don't worry about other stops here, just have a look at this slip checker function. It is being called only if player is not on ground or is at falling state. To set up the position and size of the ray, I'm using vector2 variable called m underscore wall check. We are shooting four rays towards four directions. If any of those ray hits any object, then we are calling hit or slip function. In this function, we are just applying the force. But you can see the front ray when it hits an object, it is returning turning forward direction instead of opposite. That's because I don't want players to miss closest jump just by a little gap. But with all the three rays, we are sending opposite direction. That means normal of the face of the object that our ray hits. And that can be done by passing hit the normal. Now let's go to hit for slip function. Ignore every other line except the cc.move call. That means we are using character control the move function. If you are using rigid body, then you can use rigid body to add force function where we are passing the slip direction multiplied with slip speed speed variable plus vector 3 the down to apply downward force and multiplying them with time the tilted time also you can see i'm resetting fall speed to zero so that the fall becomes smoother now at last for the part of projecting gizmos on scene create a function on draw gizmos and use gizmos dot draw ray to draw ray like shown on the screen change the wall check variable and also slip speed variable with the numbers that best suits your condition and after doing all this you will get to your final result I hope this video was helpful and you get the idea of how it was done. If you do have some questions, you can freely comment it out. I will try my best to answer you. At last but not least, here are some of the three upcoming tutorial videos. Number 1. How to create a dot system. Number 2. Sword contact effect in Unity 3D. Number 3. Simple but effective wall climbing mechanics. All those viewers who are not subscribed to this channel, do hit that subscribe button below this video and also hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any upcoming videos. And at the end of this video, I will make sure to come up with more amazing tutorial videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, goodbye and take care.